Hello, and welcome to Screencasts Online. I'm Darcy. Today's tip is on Tripsy, an app for iPhone, iPad, and Mac that helps you arrange and organize your travel plans. To find the problem we're solving, let's look at how most people book trips. In no particular order, they decide where to go and what dates, book flights and accommodation, transport to and from airports, locations they want to visit, restaurants they want to eat at, and how to travel between these locations. And in this day and age, there's probably a COVID-related travel document or two you'd need to include. It's a lot of information, and we all have our own different ways of storing it, from physically printing everything, to computer folders, to flagged emails with itineraries. But frankly, it's always messy. That's where Tripsy comes in. This app is a trip planner, which allows you to create and plan trips, keep all information in one place, and share them with your travel companions. Tripsy can be downloaded from the App Store. We're going to be exploring features available on both the free and premium version of the app. Upgrading can be done in-app, using your Apple ID, or through your setup subscription. We'll be using the iPad version for our demo, but everything you see here is available on Mac and iPhone as well. So let's get into it and we'll solve this organizational problem. After opening the app and logging in, you'll be able to create a new trip using the plus icon at the top right. I feel like going to Singapore for a week, so I'll name my journey accordingly. If you don't have the dates for your trip yet, you can still use Tripsy to plan before booking. Just don't enter the dates in. I will for our demonstration. And I'll select the time zone in Singapore. Click on choose an image here. And we're presented with many different options. I can actually type Singapore in the search field to get related images. The trip is created. I can see a rough countdown to my journey in the top left here, and I can edit the details of the journey by clicking on the pencil in the top right. Tripsy has a myriad of different activity categories to help planning. Now we have our dates, we'll go through how to enter this information, starting with our flights. Tap on New Activity, then select Flights. I'm departing on flight JQ7 from Melbourne. When I enter the flight number and select the date, it automatically collects the flight details for me. Pretty neat. I can turn on alerts for any flight changes, enter my seat number and reservation code, along with any notes I need. Then I can do the same for my flight back. Next, I'll enter accommodation. Click on Lodging. I have two options for adding this information. The first is to search for the hotel I'm staying at. This location already has the hotel phone number and website recorded. I can enter the dates I'll be staying, my reservation number, and notes. The second way is also quite handy. Tripsy has the option to add from other apps. So for example, if I'm in Apple Maps looking at a hotel and I click the share button, I can send it straight to the Tripsy app. You can change the category if needed, select the trip you're adding to, and select the dates all from the app you're in. Maps is often a place people start when looking for places, so let's stay here and we'll see if there's something else we can add. I've heard there's an awesome goat farm in Singapore, so let's not leave before we've added that to the trip. Adding it is similar to before with one noticeable change. After adding the start time, the end time allows you to select a duration for the activity in hours.
Let's head back to Tripsy and see our work. Our trip has lodging and activity at the forefront, so we can quickly view their details with a tap. Something I really love about Tripsy is viewing my entire journey on a map. Clicking on the map view icon does just that. At a first glance, I can see the journey as a whole, or like with any map, I can zoom into my destination. On the right hand side is a breakdown of my journey where I can filter by either activities or days. Looking at this map does make me wonder how I'll travel from the airport to my lodging and from there to my other activities. Tripsy has you covered there with the ability to add transport. After clicking new activity, we can find the transport options right at the bottom from walking to trains, to buses, or even car rental. I know I want to catch a bus from the airport, so I'll select that. I'll type in the name of the airport, then under destination it's already recognizing my lodging with just a couple of letters. I set my departure time, which can be more specific if you've pre-booked a journey. and click Save to add. Now it's added as an activity, and if we go back to the map view, I can actually see the bus route on the map to give me a better idea of my journey. Maps view is really handy for breaking down your day to day. As you can see, I've added bus journeys for another day, so I can get from my lodging to one activity, and then head back to have some dinner. Last time I travelled to Singapore, I had to show several different documents indicating if I was vaccinated, if I was on an approved flight to enter, visa status, and so on. Tripsy has another little section here for documents, where you can upload everything to the app and have them shared between your devices, so you'll always have access. Tap on Add Document, and choose from the Files app on your device, a photo from the photo library, take a photo, or simply add a new note to the trip. Tripsy makes adding information to your journey as easy as possible. We saw this earlier when we shared a location from Maps directly into our trip. With email forwarding, you can actually pass off any email you get from your airline, hotel, or event organizer directly into Tripsy to have them organize it. Let me show you how. First. Go to Settings, then Forward Reservations. Tripsy receives all forwarded emails to the same address, my at tripsy.app. To make sure your forwarded email gets sent to your account, make sure to add your email address here. Now, any email received by Tripsy from this address will be organized into your trips. After adding the email, simply forward a reservation to my.tripsy.app, and after a moment it will be added to your account. I've seen them come in as individual items, so you can either use this as a starting point for your next trip, or add it to another trip by selecting the activity, scrolling to the bottom for more actions, and selecting move to another trip. Tripsy also offers Calendar Sync. Just head back to Settings, select it, and add Tripsy to Calendar. It will take you to the Calendar app. You can see instead of adding it to your personal or work calendar, it creates its own calendar. There's also a handy feature to customize your events in the calendar with emoji that can be enabled back in the app. You can also share your trips with others. Not everyone needs access to all the premium features to share in the benefits. It seems most wise to create the journey on one person's account, then share it with others, like so. Enter your trip and tap the share button. Now you can either add a person as a collaborator, allowing them to input and change details, or share on the web. 
This creates a read-only itinerary for others to view, so they have all the information. After opening the link, they can scroll through to see what's planned. Tapping on Activities shows you scheduled times and links to the logged websites. And lastly, a little inspiration. At the bottom of the main page, Tripsy has over a dozen example trips with real locations to get you started. Select the trip to view its contents, and if you like what you see, press Add in the top right. You can select your own dates for the trip and tap Create, then start adding to it like any other. I'm so glad I discovered Tripsy. For someone who travels a lot, I've always wanted a solution that lets me combine all the data into one place, actually visualize it on a map, and share it with others. I'm Darcy, and thanks for watching today's short tip. We'll see you on Friday for our full show.